Hey everybody, Songs for Silverman here with Ephemeral Coding. We have a lot of new stuff here on Von Neumann Update 11. The first big update is I moved to Godot 4.4. This gave me a lot of time to update my code and make it way more efficient. Okay, the first update for ships is there is a new ship movement, which is using the WASD controls. Other ships will still be controlled by mouse and click. I added a tactical mode, which allows you to go into a free camera. And when you're done, it will snap back to your ship. I added modular recipes. This is how I create the recipes in-game, but this will also add mod support for later on. Weapons now have an inventory, so you can't just spam a thousand missiles. Debris are now dynamic, with the secondary explosions, and sometimes when you hit debris, you can gain some resources. I added manual mining. This will be incredibly important for early game, when you have to get resources. Added some new aesthetics to gas planets, adding some clouds in the atmosphere. We have a bunch of new crafting, allowing you to create some new items out of your basic inventory. You can put a max output into it, and it will stop whenever you have that many items. We have a lot of new buildings. The hub is where we start. This will create some of the most basic elements. We have a supply depot, which allows you to have a certain amount of supplies, which can be shown in the top right corner. There's an ore refinery, silica refinery, plasma refinery, gas refinery, iridium refinery. Okay, so the biggest update is we got approved as a Steamworks partner, and what that means is Von Neumann can be on Steam now. So I've been creating some assets, some uh, pictures to make sure that our Steam page looks good once that goes live. So that's it for Von Neumann Update 11. A lot of stuff on this update. Special thank you to all my Patreon members. You guys really do help me a lot. If you want to get involved, join the project. You can give ideas and feedback, or directly support us. The links are below.